Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can set up a launcher on the new Fire HD 6 by Amazon. So the problem is with the Fire HD 6 it does not allow you to set a launcher as default. So we're going to have to get around that. Because whenever you install a launcher and press the home button it will come up with a pop-up um, where it asks if which launcher you want to use, the default or the one you installed. And if you choose to set it as default, the next time you click the home button, it comes up with that same pop-up again. So it's not actually setting the launcher as default. And we're going to get around that today. So first of all, you need to get your APK of the launcher that you're going to install. And then in the application settings, choose allow from unknown source as from unknown source and click OK and now if you have your APK transferred onto the device um, download a file manager like one from the Amazon store or one that you have side loaded and then I'm on the SD card and I have an APK of Lucid Launcher. So what I'm going to do is install it. You just select it and it should come up with a prompt to install. And then choose done. And then I'm going to show you the problem real quick. So the problem is it comes up with select home app and if you wanted to set like Lucid Launcher as the default if you chose always the next time you go out of that app and click the home button it comes up with the same pop-up so it's actually not setting the, the app as default so what you're going to need is to be able to have access to the ADB shell or ADB so let's move on to the computer and get this working alright I'm on the computer now and I want to talk a little bit about what we're actually going to be doing so we're actually going to be disabling the default home screen app, the default Kindle launcher, whatever you want to call it. And this way, it just will bypass that pop-up altogether because there's only one um, launcher. But something that is interesting is once you disable the default home screen app, it will allow you to set whatever launch you, launcher you want as default. Ex excluding the default home screen app. So first of all you're going to need to know how to use ADB. So I have uh, ADB binary set up in my uh, user share bin directory so I can just right off the bat say ADB and just do a quick first of all make sure you have your device connected to the computer obviously. So. Uh, first of all, type ADB devices. Make sure your device comes up as a number, not like question marks or something. If it has question marks, that means your ADB or USB driver is not installed correctly. Correctly, and so once you have that done, uh, type in ADB ADB shell. So once you have uh, typed that in type in PM that stands for package manager and then type in block PM block com dot Amazon dot Kindle dot otter and now it has uh, set it to block the default home screen application and uh, before I show anything else, you, if you want to unblock it, type in PM Unblock. Now you can see that whenever you choose the home button on your device, it just brings you straight to the default, or well, straight to the launcher that you have installed. And in your applications list, you will not have um, the default launcher. So in order to re-enable the default launcher, you'll have to go back onto the ADB shell and type in PM unblock so just like this 
com.amazon.kindle.otter. Once you unblock it, it instantly allows you to choose again. This is just a warning to be careful because if you do not have an alternative launcher installed and you have the uh, default launcher disabled and you reboot, it's going to um, look like it's in a boot loop but eventually it does fully boot up and while it's booting up it you still have ADB access on the computer. So if you um, let's say you accidentally disable both and or you have no launcher installed whenever you reboot it's going to take about f two minutes to boot up and once it boots up it'll show the lock screen and once you swipe to the lock screen there's a blank screen and you can't even pull down the notification bar to get to the settings so and somehow and somehow it's in the camera right now so not really sure how that happened or whatever this is anyways uh, if this happens it's not hard to fix just plug in your device into the computer again and uh, just once once again just do the unblock option and you should be ready to go it and uh, starts right up so, I hope this tutorial helped, and I hope you aren't confused at all. Um, if you have any questions, please comment, and uh, thanks for watching.